Coming up today on That LTD Life, join me, look over my shoulder as I try out SnapCut for the very first time. This is a new lifetime deal on AppSumo that's supposed to take your long form content and transform it into viral shorts. It also adds AI auto captions in up to 20 languages. So hopefully this thing is worth its weight in gold, only 49 bucks, so not very much gold. Let's check out the plans and pricing. First of all, we see that every single plan is going to get AI auto selection of the best cuts. It will automatically reframe and I'm going to be giving it one of my videos, which is extremely challenging since it's a screen recording of a desktop screen. We'll see how it does with the reframing. It's going to translate into 20 languages like I already mentioned. It can you can edit the captions, no watermarks, 4K rendering, select your own caption styles, 90 day storage. You can output to a multiple range of aspect ratios and you can download your raw videos. Uh, so yeah, overall, it looks like it's going to be a great option. I didn't mention, but you can also get uh, custom brand templates. So I just got tier one here, 200 processing minutes per month. Let's go ahead and try it out. So here's my account. I'm gonna try it out in a moment, but first I need to remind you that I'm Dave and I review lifetime deals every day of the week. If you want me to continue doing this, please consider clicking on my AppSumo affiliate link down below in the description that helps support this channel so I can make these lifetime deal reviews. All right, let's go ahead and try this thing out. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my personal YouTube links here. All right, so I've just got a regular old YouTube link here, but I want to point out that with their pro plan, which we get access to, we can also use YouTube, Daily Motion, Facebook, Instagram, Loom, Twitch, Dropbox, or Vimeo links. All right, let's go ahead and get clips in one click. So speech language, I need to choose my speech language, which is English. And if I wanted to, I could translate into another language right here check that box and then choose from one of the 30 languages available. I think it only said 20 on the AppSumo deal page. Yeah, 20 languages. Now, very peculiar here, but there is a no clipping option, which I guess would just translate the whole video. So that must be what that's all about. I do want clipping, so I'll make sure that this is toggled off and let's go ahead and generate. Oh, it says cannot read properties of null reading video details. Now I did use the uh, YouTube shortened link which they give you when you click on the share button, but I'll try to just load up the full URL and see if that fixes things. So you can see here, it's the youtube.be and then kind of the you know gobbledygook afterwards. But if you paste that into the browser, you'll get the full URL. So I'll try that one inside of SnapCut. All right, there we go. Let's try it again and we'll go ahead and generate. Ah, it's not working. I can see that I do have the little premium badge here and my 200 minutes of processing time. I'm just trying a different video here and this one seemed to work. All right, that's kind of weird. So uh, this is the shortened link. I didn't uh, go ahead and change it. Uh, just a slightly older video and it looks like it is processing just fine. Going rather quickly actually, if this progress bar is to be trusted, we'll find out momentarily here. For context here, I am uploading my click analytic video. It's about 19 minutes long and it's literally been about 30 seconds and it's almost done with this first processing stage. So the tool is moving along pretty quickly. Ah, and then like so many other tools, it gets to the end of the loading screen and it has not moved in a little bit here. So we'll see how this proceeds. Now, I do think that I could probably close this window. Yeah, it says you can safely leave this page. All right, so let's do that. And I can see that it's currently processing over here. All right, so my video is done processing. It really didn't take very long at all, especially considering that I think it created 15 shorts for me. So uh, maybe three minutes total if I had to put a clock to it, I'd say about three minutes. Remember, this is a 19 minute video. It did use up 20 of my credits up here. I was at 200 before, I am down to 180. Let's go ahead and check out what it generated. All right, so I've got my 15 different videos here as I scroll through. It's got myself centered in most of the content, which is probably good for the start, but might also not be great when the actual focus moves over to the screen. I don't expect the AI to do very good with this content, to be honest. It's one of the reasons I've never done a lot of shorts is I'd have to do them all manually, and it just seems like a lot of extra work. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So here's the first one on plans and pricing. Let's head over to the plans and pricing and we'll talk through things. So as I mentioned at the top of the video, Click Analytic is just $59. However, this does place you on their lowest tier plan. If you move up to tier two all the way through tier four, you get placed on their higher plan, which is more likely to get any feature updates in the future. You can see here under plans. Okay, so that video looks fine. Uh, you know, the 
captions are kind of going off the screen a little bit and obviously you can't see anything on the screen. So let's go ahead and open up the editor and see what can be done here. So right now we're in portrait view. We could just change this to be regular old 16 by nine and then it's gonna be a lot more helpful. However, if I were to upload this to a shorts platform like YouTube, well, it's gonna have black bars on the top and bottom. Maybe that's just gonna be the best way to go about it, but uh, I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do to kind of reframe this as we go. So we do have some templates over here for the captions. Let's investigate that first. So we're on the simple template. We could switch over to Kara. That looks like this. We've got blue, pop. Ooh, I don't like pop so much, at least not without changing the color. Okay, I see there, it's actually going to fill in the letters as it plays. Check this out, talk through things. So as I mentioned at the top of the video, click, that's actually kind of nice. All right, then we've got Kami over here, like comic book style, kind of Mr. Beast style, and then Monty, which has this kind of unattractive drop shadow, if I'm just speaking frankly. Don't really care for this style, probably my least favorite. Okay, so what I could do is move the caption position. So right now, it is right over my face, and so I don't like that. If I'm gonna focus on my face the whole time, it should at least not cover it up with words. Um, all right, so we've done that, we've moved it over. Uh, there are highlight colors. I'm kind of confused about what the highlights are for at this point, so let me figure that out. Uh, well, I haven't figured it out quite yet, but I did choose this button right here that says to edit the theme, and it does give me a lot more options in terms of fonts. Looks like we got most of, well, not most of, but a lot of different fonts here that are probably pulled from Google fonts, it looks like. So we could switch over to pop-in if you want, change the weight, well, only heavy on pop-in only medium on Helvetica. So not a lot of options here when it comes to different styles. Here's got two, light as well as medium. Switch over to Montserrat. You can change the color of the text. Now you can really see the drop shadow here that I was talking about. It's kind of too much, right? So I can turn that off. Shadow none, it doesn't go away though. Here's the size. We can use a slider for the size. Make it all uppercase or not. Oh, it's the stroke. Okay, so this stroke is actually adding that very difficult to read type of look. It's kind of a blurred stroke, so that's unusual. You could make that white, and you can see here the stroke goes uh, around each letter, but it still seems to be adding, even though I have shadow off, I mean, you can see the shadow adjusting. Here's large, medium, small, and then none. Still looks like a shadow to me. The stroke itself has a shadow, so I will turn that off. We can animate the captions as well, so that's kind of a cool touch if you want them to kind of uh, you know, animate in as it's spoken, place you on their lowest tier plan. If you, there we go. And there's a few different animations. So that was fade. We could do a simple animation. If you move up to tier two, all the way through tier four, you get placed on their higher plan, which is more likely to get any feature updates in. If you slide left, you can barely see it. You can see here under plans, the words are too uh, rapid in this type of short in order to actually see that type of animation. So yeah, I'd probably keep it with something simple like fade, that looked good. Now when you get things just how you want, you can save this as your own template here. So I'll just call this DS for Dave Swift and hit save. And now I've got my template saved under my templates and I can easily select that for future videos. Now, as far as actually editing the video itself, it looks like it's kind of created this video from three, four different clips. So what I could do is select the clip that I want and then move the position using this little slider right here. So Perhaps I want it to be on the uh, pricing table right here. And then when it gets over to this part of the video, I would move it over to show, I don't know, how about tier one? Now it would be really sweet if I could animate it as I was talking about the different tiers, have it move over, but unfortunately there's no sort of keyframing or any advanced editing here. Now, if you need to edit the captions themselves because it gets the transcription wrong, there is a CC section here where you can just go ahead and change the actual transcription. I'm looking through and I don't really see any mistakes. It looks pretty good. Like one thing I might do is just combine these two to make them, you know, rather than have tears and butt on their own line, um, you know, maybe I'd add tears to this and put butt on this line, but you know, overall it's, it's pretty good. But if you wanted to edit a word, just go ahead and select it. Ah, here are the highlight colors. So for this particular word, I can actually highlight it to be green. And then when we get there at 42 seconds, play. Really so there you go. So that's how you highlight things. That should be the last thing and then cut to this. So here are the highlight colors. So if you wanted to go ahead and highlight specific words, you need to do that manually, but these are the colors you'd be choosing from over in your template. Next up, there is something called the Brand Studio. Now I'm gonna check this out in a moment, but it does say that the Brand Studio changes a specific clip and it will override the global editing. So we'll go ahead and try that out. But before we do, 
there is B-roll built into this tool. So the way this works is you select text. So let's say, let's head over to the plans and pricing. I select this and then I can add in B-roll. Pretty soon it's going to generate B-roll for you. But in this case, I need to actually choose something uh, from a free video or free image. They're all coming from Pexels. So I'm saying plans and pricing. Let's go ahead and choose these, uh, you know, interior plans for a building here and see what that looks like. Let's head over to the plans and pricing and we'll talk through things. All right, pretty cool. Not for my content, but in general, I think this would be really good for a lot of creators. Okay, let's check out this brand studio and then we're gonna be basically done with this video. So we'll head over to the brand studio, create a brand, and I'm gonna leave without saving. Brand Studio is up at the top here. It didn't actually take me there, which is mildly irritating. Let's go ahead and open this up. And here's what we can do. We can do a visual overlay. So it says logo, call the action, et cetera. And then we can have an intro and outro video. Now for a short, I don't know that I necessarily recommend having all of this extra stuff. I think you just kind of want to get people in and out without you know, having an intro or an outro. We're staying like generally under 90 seconds. I know some platforms are expanding that to be much longer, but uh, yeah, I don't know that I see a lot of creators already using intros or outros, so yeah, it could probably be avoided. But let's go ahead and add an overlay in here. I'll just drop a logo in. All right, so I've added my logo and it says uh, Visual Brand Studio Timing and I can choose between always, the first 15% of the clip, 45% of the clip, or the last 15% of the clip. Okay, so maybe you do this at the end, you show your logo, and we do have the little preview over here so you can see what it's going to look like. Um, you know, maybe I'll put that in the upper right hand corner. You can put it anywhere you want dead center. You really want to, you know, blast people with your logo. You can do that. Uh, all right. I'm just going to put it, you know, kind of subtly up here in the upper right. And then for videos, of course, you could drop in a video here. I don't think I'm going to do that for testing, but I will go ahead and do I have to save this? Go back. Yeah, it didn't save anything. So uh, there must be a hidden save button I'm missing. All right. I've added my logo. I'll give it a name. I'll just call this Dave hit save or hit create. I guess that was the thing I needed to do. Now I've got my brand up here. If I go back over to my dashboard, I can see my video. I'll open this up, hit the editor. And what I can do is go over to the brand studio and apply, turn this on and apply my Dave brand. And I believe this should show up all the time because as I recreated it, I forgot to, to change that setting. So as I play through the video now, you can see the logo up here. Let's head over to the plans and pricing and we'll talk through things. So, so there you go. Pretty simple. I gotta say, I like the user interface of this. I think the design is minimalistic. I like the color choices. They're bold, but subtle, not overwhelming. Overall, really nice job here, SnapCut. Now my choices here are to download the video or I could download it without the captions burned in if you prefer that. Then maybe you could do captions in another tool or just leave it without captions altogether. You can also download the transcription as the SRT file as well and click on the triple dots up here to see the video exported. And it opens up in a little player here where you can just go ahead and preview it. Now it says you can safely leave this page and they're gonna send me an email once it's ready to be viewed and downloaded, I suppose. So if I just click download here, yeah, it just starts downloading right away. So this uh, exported page really must just be for previewing before you download, but if it takes time to actually render, I probably would just skip it. All right, so there is SnapCut. If I'm gonna be real picky here, the only other feature I'd like to see, well, there's two of them. One is some kind of a user system. So maybe, maybe I could grant access to an editor or a remote worker to help me actually generate these clips. The other thing I'd love to see is maybe clip selection. So if I could choose the exact start and end point that I wanted to, that might be helpful as well. Right now, we're kind of just reliant on whatever sections they choose for us. But yeah, for 49 bucks, it's a pretty good value. And 200 minutes for that $49 is pretty generous. If you're just trying to, you know, take your existing podcast and create clips from it, chances are you're probably creating, you know, if you do a weekly podcast, maybe no, no more than, you know, 300 minutes a month. So tier one is gonna be probably mostly fine for you. You know, if you really wanna go up to tier two, it's only $109 for 500 minutes. That's gonna cover almost every creator. I mean, overall for my money, I really like this user interface. It's clean, simple, and fast. I'm gonna go ahead and give this tool an 8.2 out of 10. Definitely check out SnapCut if you're interested in creating some shorts out of your long form content. 
All right, that's all for this review. Make sure you hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video. Go ahead and drop me a comment down below and consider clicking on my AppSumo link before making a purchase. My name is Dave. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.